So guys, this was another story that was sent in by a number of you guys via my DMs and Imran Baldi Shahid's throat has been cut at HMP Grampian according to prison sources. He is said to have suffered the self-inflicted injury at the Peterhead facility on Sunday where he's serving a 25-year sentence. A prisoner stated that an inmate nicknamed Baldi, the guy that killed Chris Donald, has got his throat slashed. Police on Monday confirmed the incident. They said officers were made aware of a 45-year-old man found injured inside the clink just before 5pm on Sunday. That man was rushed to Aberdeen Royal Infirmary for treatment. The extent of his injuries and current medical condition were not disclosed. The exact circumstances surrounding the incident are also not yet known. So Shahid was one of the men who brutally murdered a 15-year-old who went by the name of Chris Donald in 2004. Schoolboy Chris was abducted by five men in Glasgow Southside on March the 15th, 2004. So this is a story that I've previously covered in depth and you can view it via the link in the description below. So go check it out after this video. The kidnap was cited as an apparent revenge for an attack on Shahid at the nightclub in Glasgow city centre. Teenager Chris was targeted as an example of a white boy from the McCulloch Street area despite having no involvement in the nightclub attack or in any gang warfare. He was taken on a 200 mile journey to Dundee and back while his kidnappers made phone calls looking for a house to take him to. With no luck they returned to Glasgow and took him to the Clyde walkway. There they held his arms and stabbed him 13 times. He sustained internal injuries to three arteries, one of his lungs, his liver and a kidney before being doused in petrol and set on fire as he bled to death. So as I said guys, the link to that story is in the description below. So Shahid has served two prison jail terms for serious violence and he was just freed three months before Chris's murder. He and two others fled to Pakistan but he and his gang members were extradited to Scotland after a personal appeal to the Pakistani authorities by Glasgow MP Mohammed Sawa and they were brought to justice. Shahid has been kept behind bars at various prisons across Scotland including Inverness, Peterhead and Perth. Back in 2019 it was reported that he punched a fellow prisoner in Inverness in a bid to get him moved to a jail closer to his family in Glasgow but the Scottish prison service instead returned him to Grampian in Peterhead where he had originally been serving his sentence. In 2013, Shahid was battered over the head with a 15 kilo dumbbell by a convicted murderer, William Crawford, in the gym at Kilmarnock Prison. A Scottish police spokesperson stated, We do not comment on individual cases, but they said that we were made aware that a man who's aged 45 was found injured within HMP Grampian in Peterhead at around 5 pm on Sunday, February the 13th. The man was taken to infirmary and officers are liaising with the Scottish Prison Service. So guys, this is a story coming from Scotland. Let me know what you think. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.